Okay, welcome back. We're going to start working on this area here. So right, uh, we're just going to put that wall in. We've got this wall left and these walls right in here to go. So we'll worry about that wall. So this is easy enough to figure out. We're just going to kind of assume that um, this is um, probably about, let's see, that's about 30 inches wide right there. So this is probably 30 inches wide here. So we'll go in here, right? Um, we're going to do something where we do an offset. And we'll go 30 inches and offset this wall over there. Okay, so now we've got this established where that end of this wall is going to be, and we can do something real simple by clicking on this, shift right click, and click perpendicular, and it'll go right to that point right there. Um, we can then also click on trim, right click trim, and get rid of that part of it. Um, the other thing we might want to do is go ahead and extend this one. Do the same thing, extend this one down from here, straight down to the perpendicular right here. Um, and that should cover that. So now when we click trim, we would trim, say, uh, use this as a cutting edge. So left click on that and left click on this line, then right click and click this and this. Um, now we've established where the end of that wall is. Now where it gets kind of tricky is figuring out where the other end of that wall goes. So let's go over here. Where does this wall end? And it ends somewhere down over here where that's at. So we're looking at, um, this door is probably no less than three foot wide, so that's probably one foot six to there and another six inches to this right here. So it's probably two feet from there to there, so somewhere around here. So from this line over, it's going to be four point, or I mean not four point four, it'll be uh, four foot six inches, I mean four foot four inches, five foot four inches. And then two, two more feet. So now we are talking about 11 foot 8 inches uh, from he, the middle here over to there. So we go back to AutoCAD. We're going to look at this wall right here where that line is. We're going to offset 11 foot 8 inches and go back over this way. So now we know where that wall is going to end, round about there. So let's go ahead and we're going to click this. We're going to click Extend, right click, and go ahead and click this this and this. So those come out to that point right there. And <clears throat> we can, instead of doing a construction layer, change this back to an object layer, click on line, and draw that from there to there. So now we know where that that line ends. I don't think we're going to use this later on, that construction line, so we'll go ahead and take that out. And now we know where that wall ends. All right. So let's look, talk about this part down in here. This line extends straight on down right through the middle of the house. Um, so let's do that. This is probably four feet wide right there. Um, that's kind of close to a standard if it's not a standard um, in this. So we'll move back over here and we're going to do the first thing we'll do is we'll offset again and we will offset either four feet or 48 inches and offset this over to here. All right now that's going to be uh, the width that goes across there um the, what i would probably do is i'll change this back to construction because we don't the construction lines won't print remember click line that goes from here and i'm just going to draw this straight across there and i'll draw another line that goes straight across over here like that um and we probably want to do something like extend this line straight on out to the perpendicular and you could have done this with either of those but it really didn't make that much of a difference because we're going to click on trim right click and then click oops we don't want to trim or right click click trim select this as a cutting edge right here and then click this line and this line all right um, we'll do the same trim I should have done it right here click that as a cutting edge could have done those two at the same time there so now we're talking about changing these two things to object layers so you just highlight them and change it to an object layer um, the other thing we can do is go ahead and create an object layer, the object layer there, and we'll create a line that goes from here down to about right here. Um, this is all going to change here in a little bit because of the way the windows are going to work out, but we will offset then four inches and offset to the, get to that wall right there. All right, um, and we can do a little trick here where we click on fill it, set our radius to zero and enter and then click this line and this line and it makes them a perfect corner all right now what we are going to want to do for dimensioning purposes is put this one over here so we'll offset two inches 
there to get the center of this wall because it's an interior wall we want a dimension to the center of it all right that being said means we won't need that line right there so click it and delete it all right so now we've got where the stairs are at so we've just got to get the rest of this stuff kind of tidied up so I'm gonna click on trim use this as a cutting edge and this is a cutting edge right click and get that out of there so now we've got that part gone so we're gonna get this all cleaned up let's look at this here so this is probably four feet across we want to be able to get stuff up and down the stairs so we're looking at probably putting in a three-foot door centered on there so let's go back here and from here we'll just go draw a line that goes say from that midpoint there shift right click to the perpendicular right here all right and then we will offset that one foot six inches oops that gets us to three feet oops go that way and go that way so now our door centered in there and this is where we would click trim click trim and make this a cutting edge and this a cutting edge and then right click and get rid of this part and this part so now we've established where the door is I'll click that right there and delete it so we don't need it so that's the stairs going down um, it goes down that way uh, let's go back here and look at this so this right here looks like it lines up with that from the exterior there's three foot eight so let's go back to here and look at this one we can do something like just draw lines uh, it goes from here across straight over somewhere in here like that do the same on this one line that goes from here over to here somewhere in here like this uh, we also probably want to draw a line that goes from that intersection right here because we're going to want to dimension that later even though it's not dimensioned on the drawing we were given we're going to do that so now we drew that one let's click on that one and change it to uh, a construction line all right so uh, that fillet that we did before, we we'll use a little secret fillet. We already set it at zero, so click from here to here, and do the same fillet and get this line from here to here. And that trims out everything we don't need and kind of gets rid of all the stuff and makes the corner look the way we want it to. Um, we'll go back over and we're going to look at this and say it's not quite halfway down uh, through there, so we'll say it's about 18 inches. So let's say we offset this. 18 inches it could be 15 could be 12 we'll just select 18 and let that be it um, that's 18 and this time we'll offset two inches so we can get what the thickness of that wall is here and, and here and then we will change this one and this one to our object layer do the fillet thing we did just a minute ago click fillet and click this line and this line fill it again repeat or I right clicked and then to repeat the fillet click there and there um, I can go ahead and click this and drag this back to that intersection and it cuts that down to where we want it to be you know you know we could do a couple other things we don't need that line right there it's not going to print um, we're going to use it just to dimension things so we can leave it or take it out if you want but what we don't want to have happen is this right there so I'm gonna select that wait a minute we don't want these this wall to go outside so click trim right click and then click oh wait click trim select this line as your cutting edge and then right click and get that and that uh, so that disappears click trim select these lines as your cutting edges click this one and this one right click and click in between there so now we've got that established right um, so now it looks like all of our walls are in place I don't see any that are missing. This we're not going to worry about. That's some kind of overhead thing, like a loft or something in there that for storing things. Um, we're not going to worry about it. Um, and so it looks like all of our walls are in place, basically. Anyway, we're going to have to figure some stuff out over in here in a little bit and figure out where doors go and such. <clears throat> but we'll get to that in a minute. Oop. So. Uh, uh, that looks good so let's go ahead and figure out what the stairs are because it's simple to do so we're going to click a line and go from here right over to there go from a line from there to there click offset make it nine inches and we're going to offset that line this way nine inches so this nine inches is a standard for a uh, for your stairs that's the run of your stairs 
Um, and we don't need to go all the way down because what we'll do is we'll just draw a line in here like this that becomes our break line. So we're going to shift right click because we don't want to select anything. Oops. We click line here, come down basically like this. You're going to make this kind of shape. Looks like, a, you know, whatever, an EKG or something like that. Um, there and go up like this. All right. So then we will click trim, use this as our cutting edges here. All right. And we'll get rid of everything on this, the bottom side of that. These two are just too much. We just can't trim those. You have to delete them or erase them. So that's it. So there's our cutting lines to tell us that's going on there. So now we have our stairs established. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. We're going to go back up in here and work in this area right in here to uh, figure out this closet and linen space. All right, so that linen space is about 24 inches deep, so we're going to offset. It will be 24 inches, and offset this one this way, like that. Um, now we can kind of cheat a little bit. What we're going to do here is we're just going to click the copy command. Copy is there. We'll copy this line from here to here, and we'll go from this intersection there to that intersection there, and it puts those in place. We don't need it to go that far. So we can click on this line, come back to here, that perpendicular there, click this one and come back to that intersection right there. All right, <clears throat> so now we've established where that's at. We'll click trim, use this as the cutting edge and this as the cutting edge, right click and then select that and get, get that out of there. All right, and I think um, before I go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and move on to the, uh, create another one.